Solar System 2. Above and Beyond. For thousands of years, we've gazed up at the night sky. Ancient astronomers observed points of light that appeared to move among the stars. They called these objects planets, meaning wanderers, and named them after Roman deities. They also observed comets with their sparkling tails and shooting stars falling from the sky. More recently, we've been able to take a closer look. Telescopes first allowed us to magnify our view of the cosmos, and then, with the development of rockets, unmanned probes were launched, armed with cameras and other instruments. Flying close to our neighboring planets, these probes have revealed secrets and given us more knowledge in the past 40 years than all we've learned in the last 2,000 years. We have also visited the moon, explored its surface, and brought back some moon rocks to study. This story of our solar system is based mostly on what we've recently learned. Let's start with some basic ideas. The objects in space are all different distances from us. See how the object that is farther away looks smaller? When a big object is very far away, it can look like a tiny dot. A sphere is a round object, like a ball. All the stars and planets are spheres. Rotate means to spin around. The Earth is spinning. When the Earth spins around once, we call that one day. An axis is the imaginary pole around which a planet rotates. A star is a very hot ball of bubbling gases. Stars give off their own light. The coolest stars are red. Hotter ones are yellowish. Still hotter ones are white. And the hottest ones are blue-white. A planet is a sphere that orbits in a clear path around its sun. A dwarf planet is a planet that is typically smaller than Mercury and does not orbit in a clear path around its sun. The path of a planet as it circles around the sun is called its orbit. The time that a planet takes to orbit the sun is one year for that planet. Gravity pulls an object toward the sun. The orbital motion of the object causes a centrifugal force, pushing the two apart. But both forces balance each other, and the object stays in orbit. We use telescopes to learn about the objects in the sky. Some telescopes let us see pictures of space, and some telescopes let us hear the sounds that are in space. A long time ago, Galileo used a telescope to look at Saturn. The planet looked strange to him, so he said Saturn had ears. Through history, man has watched the stars. He has grouped the stars into constellations, named after the animals and heroes of their stories. The Latin word for sun is sol, so solar system also means sun system. We think the solar system may have been formed from a cloud or nebula of gases 4.6 billion years ago. Gravity kept the nebula together and over time caused the gases to contract into the sun and planets and moons. As of 2006, there are eight planets in orbit around our sun. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. To date, there are also three known dwarf planets in our solar system. They are Ceres, Pluto, and Eris. This is how big the planets and dwarf planets are compared to each other. The first four planets are known as terrestrial planets. The word terrestrial means Earth-like. They are solid, rocky planets with a metallic core. The last four planets are called Jovian planets. Jovian means like Jupiter. They are all gas giants, meaning they're made of gas and are not solid. Ceres, Pluto, and Eris are all dwarf planets. Pluto and Eris are also known as trans-Neptunian objects because their orbits are beyond Neptune. This makes them part of a new class called Plutons, named after Pluto. Between Mars and Jupiter is an area called the Asteroid Belt. Here, many fragments of rocks are in orbit around the Sun. The dwarf planet Ceres is located in the Asteroid Belt. 
There are also comets in orbit around the sun. Comet heads are made of frozen gas and rocks. A comet may have two tails, a dust tail and a gas tail. A tail can be as long as 93 million miles. As a comet orbits the sun, the tail always points away from the sun. Some comets become trapped in the sun's gravity and have a regular orbit. Halley's Comet returns every 76 years, while other comets are only seen once. Meteoroids are also in our solar system, but they generally do not orbit around the sun. Our sun is very important because it gives us just the right amount of heat, light, and energy we need to live right here on Earth. Our sun is our nearest star. It is a yellow-orange star, which is not very big or bright for a star. The sun is made mostly of the gases hydrogen and helium. Its core is about 27 million degrees Fahrenheit and surface is about 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It is covered with very, very hot bubbling gases, which we call the photosphere. Those dark spots are sunspots. They are cooler than the area around it. Hot explosions of fiery gas shoot up from the sun. They are called solar flares. The glow around the sun is called the corona. The corona is actually hotter than the surface of the sun. Also, a solar wind blows away from the sun out into space. The sun is by far the largest object in our solar system. Here is how big the planets are compared to our sun. It contains more than 99% of all the materials that make up our solar system. In fact, the sun is bigger than one million Earths and is approximately 93 million miles away from us. Our moon is in orbit around the Earth. It is the closest object in the sky to us, around 240,000 miles away from us. It takes the moon 28 and one quarter days to make one orbit. The same side of the moon always faces the Earth. We visited the moon six times between 1969 and 1972. The moon has less gravity because it's smaller than the Earth. There's very little atmosphere on the moon, so the footprints left by the astronauts will still be sharp and detailed thousands of years from now. The craters on the moon were formed by the impact of meteors. As the moon orbits the Earth, we see different amounts of the lighted part, which we call phases. This is a full moon. This is a crescent moon. And this is a new moon. Sometimes the sun, earth, and moon line up like this. This is called a lunar eclipse. And other times, the sun, moon, and earth line up like this, which is called a solar eclipse. The moon's gravity pulls the earth's oceans out here and here, and pushes the oceans in here and here, causing the tides. Now, let us visit the planets in our solar system, starting with Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet much smaller than Earth. There is only a trace of atmosphere on Mercury, so incoming meteoroids do not burn up. Rather, they impact on the surface, causing the craters that we see. Those huge cliffs can be up to two miles high and probably formed when the interior of Mercury cooled and shrank. Because Mercury is so near the Sun, its daytime temperatures are very high, as much as 800 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt lead. On the night side of Mercury, it is very cold, 300 degrees below Fahrenheit. Mercury is the fastest planet. It completes one orbit in 88 days, but it rotates very slowly compared to Earth. Mercury rotates once every 59 Earth days. The second planet out from the Sun is Venus. Venus is called our sister planet. It is the planet closest to the Earth and is about the same size as our planet, but it spins in the other direction. Venus is very bright in the night sky and is called the evening star and also the morning star. Most of Venus's atmosphere is carbon dioxide. Venus is covered with yellow white clouds. These clouds are made of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid and are very poisonous. Acid rain falls from the clouds. The clouds also keep in the heat like a greenhouse. Venus is in fact the hottest planet, 900 degrees Fahrenheit, and its surface is barren as shown by this radio telemetry animation. Venus has the longest day of any planet. It takes Venus 243 Earth days to make one rotation. After Venus comes Earth. Earth is called the water planet because over 70% of its surface is covered with water. 
From space, you can see the blue oceans, the land and the clouds that cross our planet. There are ice caps at the north and south polar regions. Earth's extensive magnetic field and atmosphere shield us from nearly all the harmful radiation coming from the sun and the other stars. The atmosphere also protects us from meteoroids that travel through space. They almost never hit the surface because they burn up in the air. This is called a meteor or shooting star. Past Earth is the fourth planet, Mars. Mars is called the red planet because the rocks and dust on Mars are red. Dust storms blow across Mars at up to 300 miles per hour, but the thin Martian atmosphere lessens the wind's impact. Many of the terrain features, which resemble shorelines, gorges, riverbeds, and islands, suggest Mars once had water flowing across its surface. There are ice caps at each pole of Mars made of carbon dioxide and small amounts of water. Occasionally, fog forms in local early morning patches and swirls around towering volcanoes. The highest temperature recorded was 7 degrees Fahrenheit and the lowest was 184 degrees below zero. Mars was the only planet we thought might have life on it, but so far our probes have not found any. Mars has two small, irregularly shaped moons. Beyond Mars is the asteroid belt. Within the asteroid belt is the dwarf planet Ceres. Ceres is relatively small, about the size of Texas. Astronomers believe it may be much like Earth with a rocky inner core and a thin, dusty crust. Unlike Earth's mantle made of hot melted rock, Ceres' mantle may be made of ice. Ceres rotates once every nine Earth hours. After Ceres and the asteroid belt is Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest of all the planets in our solar system. It is a giant ball of hydrogen and helium gases with bands of white, yellow, brown, tan, red, and orange clouds all around it. We think that great red spot, which is as big as two Earths, is a huge storm, like a hurricane, as this time-lapse sequence shows. We've been watching it for over 300 years, and it may be a million years old. There are 63 known moons in orbit around Jupiter. Jupiter rotates every 10 Earth hours and has about a 12 Earth year orbit. Beyond Jupiter lies Saturn. Saturn is the next biggest planet and is best known for the beautiful rings that circle around it. There are thousands of rings. They are made mostly of ice, dust, and frosted rock, which makes them bright and easy to see. They vary in size from dust to pieces the size of a small car. Saturn has over 30 moons, possibly more. Saturn is mostly hydrogen, and the clouds of gas that make up Saturn blow around at 1,100 miles per hour. Saturn is the farthest planet that can be seen in the night sky with our eyes alone. Saturn rotates once every 10 and a half Earth hours and takes 29 and a half Earth years to orbit the sun. Uranus is a beautiful blue-green gas planet. The planet is blue because the methane in the atmosphere absorbs all the other colors. It is the third largest planet, and it too has rings. The rings are thin and made up mostly of dust and boulder-sized particles. They are dark because they are not covered in ice like Saturn's rings are. Uranus orbits the Sun in 84 years, so a day and night are each 42 years long. Uranus has at least 15 moons, while other planets rotate on their axis like this. Uranus rotates like this. About 5,000 miles below the cloud tops is thought to be a sea of scalding water and ammonia over 6,000 miles deep. Below that is thought to be an Earth-sized core of heavier material. After Uranus lies Neptune. Neptune is a distinctive blue gas planet. Its color is due to atmospheric methane. It too has thin rings. Neptune is made mostly of hydrogen and is only a little smaller than Uranus. There's a great dark spot on Neptune that people think may be a storm like the one on Jupiter. This spot moves across the surface at 745 miles per hour. Neptune has the highest wind speed of any planet. The clouds move at 1,500 miles per hour. Beyond Neptune are two dwarf planets, Pluto and Eris. We think Pluto is a ball of frozen gas, perhaps methane ice, but we cannot be certain because Pluto is so far from us. Our sun from Pluto looks almost like any of the other stars in the night sky. 
Pluto is two-thirds the size of our moon. It takes Pluto 248 Earth years to make one orbit. It has at least three moons. We can see Charon, Nix, and Hydra. Some astronomers call Pluto and Charon a double planet because they rotate around each other while orbiting the Sun. Eris is a dwarf planet that was recently discovered. It is slightly larger than Pluto, making it the largest known dwarf planet. It has one known moon, Dysnomia. Recently, scientists have discovered a solar system beyond our own orbiting the star Upsilon Andromeda, which is 44 light years from Earth. We know of three big gas planets in orbit around this star, as shown by this concept sketch. This is the first known planetary system to be found beyond ours. Perhaps one of the most remarkable achievements of our time has been the exploration of space. We've sent spacecraft to all of the eight planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. New technology has let us see more and explore more. And while we have already learned a lot about our solar system, there is still so much left to learn and discover. And our ways of thinking about the solar system can grow and change with each new discovery.